Hi guys, new here. So this video is a continuation of my previous video on how to make an easy start screen. So if you haven't seen that video already, it'll be here on the screen and also in the description for you guys. So what I'll be showing you guys how to do is if you click the play button, you'll see it plays this little animation. And then if we click quit, it fades out. And if we click play again and then click start game, it does the same animation and then loads us into our world. So I'm going to show you guys how to do exactly that. So let's get into it. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to come over here to the background image and over here where it says image, I'm actually going to add this background image that I'm using for a previous project. And I'm going to take the tint and I'm going to turn it all the way up to white so it actually shows. And there we go. We got our background image. And the reason I'm doing this is so it matches my other main menu over here, but also so that we actually have something to see a visual representation of our animation and not just a black screen. So what we're going to do is we come down here to the animations folder and we bring this up and you'll notice that it's empty. So all we're going to do is click animation and we'll title this fade in. And then we're going to click animation again and we'll title this fade out. Dock this in a layout for right now so it's here and then we'll scale this up a little bit, scroll down so that we have a better view come down here we'll click on our fade in and we'll go and we'll add track there's two ways that you can do this you can come down to all name widgets and you can see everything that's over here on the left side or you can come and you can click the specific image and then click track and then it'll be highlighted here so that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna come down here and we're gonna grab our start button box and we're gonna add track for that and the quit button box and we're gonna add a track for that so now over here in this little box for all of these individual tracks what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on one we're gonna click track and then we're going to click color and opacity and then for the quit button we're going to render opacity as well as the start button of render opacity I know it looks like a lot but it's broken down into categories just like most of the folders so it should be easy enough to follow along so we're gonna start here we're gonna go drop down this little window on color and opacity and on this little slider these are your seconds so you can go anywhere you can make the animation as long as you want but for us we're gonna make it a second and these teeny tiny little circles right here are keyframes. This is your keyframe button. So what we're going to do is we're going to click section and it highlights all of them and it makes our animation one second. So if you know anything about video editing at all, then you'll feel very familiar with the concept of keyframes and it should make this a lot easier for you. So we'll just scroll down a little bit while our marker is still at one second and we'll click the keyframe here for the opacity. So for the background, what we're going to do is we're going to take the red and we're going to turn it to zero, the green to zero and the blue to zero. And we're going to keep the alpha one so that we have a pure dark background. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the opacity and we're going to make this zero on the buttons so that everything is hidden. And we have this nice little fade in animation. Now what we can do is we can come here to the middle and we can add another little keyframe for the buttons and we can make this 0.2 so they fade in just a little bit afterwards and that is our fade in animation done it's fairly simple uh, you can customize it you can make it longer shorter you can do whatever you want with it so now we're going to come over here to the fade out and we're basically going to do the exact same thing but in reverse so we'll come over here and we'll click on the background image we'll click track we'll add a track for the background image as well as one for the start button and the quit button. Now we'll come in here and we'll go to color and opacity for the background image and we'll go to render opacity for both of the buttons. We'll make the animation one second to match the other animation and we'll go ahead and add a keyframe for all of these. So this time we'll start with the buttons. We'll just make the opacity on the buttons zero at the end and we'll hit the drop down menu for this and we'll make red zero, green zero, and blue zero. We'll drag the slider back to the middle, 0.5, and we'll make the render opacity 0.2 for the buttons. You don't have to add a keyframe yourself. You can drag this slider to any point in your animation and then change this value, and it'll add a keyframe of itself. Then from here, you can drag the keyframe that you want to wherever you want. So now from here, we just hit space, and our animation is good. Now, we have our fade in animation and our fade out animation, so we'll move up here to the graph. And we'll take everything that we have here from our previous video and we'll drag this off to the right. And what we're going to do here is we're going to right click and we're going to type in play animation. We're going to drag this and we're going to make two copies. So control C, control V. I'm going to drag these into place. 
right underneath each other. All right. And then we'll just connect up the pins, start, and then off of here, we're gonna type in delay, and we're gonna control C, control V, grab a copy of the delay. We're gonna change the duration of the delay to 0.9, so that it's just a tenth of a second off of the actual animation itself, just to add a little bit of smoothness to it. And the reason why we made a third one is for the event construct. So we connect this pin, and this is just going to be whenever the widget is created, this is gonna play the fade in animation for us. So now we just come over here to our animations and we grab fade in, we'll drop it on there. We grab fade out and we'll drop it on here. And we'll grab fade out and we'll drop it on the quit. So now, whenever we click the start button and the quit button, it should play the fade out animation, delay for a second, and then either open the world starting it or quit the game ending it. We'll compile and save and we'll go ahead and hit play to see if it works and quit. Nice little fade out animation. We'll hit play and we'll hit start game. And that's that. That's a nice quick little widget tutorial for you guys on how to do a nice simple animation. So uh, I hope this helped. And if I was able to help you guys with anything, do me a favor and drop a like for me and leave a comment on what I should do next in the future. So I appreciate you guys. Near out.